Hello there, and welcome. Today, we're going to take you on a journey. Oh, the places you go, the places you've been, you've done so much in so little time. Emma Johnson, you are a very accomplished person for your age, and today we're going to explore some of the things that have motivated you to come to this point. So, throughout your life, you've been a very busy person, would you say? Yes, I like to keep myself busy. And is there any sort of people that have been there to motivate you throughout these busy times? Yeah, um, my mom and dad um, have really been a good support system. They encourage me to do a lot of things and um, definitely like teachers and coaches and young women's advisors and um, everyone's been super helpful with um, all my activities. Okay. And do tell, Emma Johnson, is there any sort of, um, sort of, uh, maybe, thing that helped you gain some sort of personal, um, say, progress in your life? Um, something that, an achievement that may be hanging on a plaque over by the bishop's office or something that has helped you get to this point and achieve and receive these skills that you may utilize and you have utilized to get to this point. You know, when you say that, it reminds me of an award I received when I was 16 called the Personal Progress Award. I received my Young Women's Medallion, um, and um, yeah, after completing my personal progress, um, I decided to get it done um, pretty quick, and that definitely helped me um, in my life. It establishes a lot of Christ-like qualities and, and habits, like there's a lot of... Um, like one goal is to read every day in your scriptures. There's goals where you have to finish the Book of Mormon or to pray. And um, that's super helpful because it kind of puts you in the habit of doing a lot of those things. And that kind of lays the foundation um, for your life to make righteous decisions. Okay, yeah. So, you have been admitted to a relatively prestigious college, Brigham Young University, Provo. And, um, say, do you think that completing this personal progress has sort of helped you get to that point? Yeah, um, it helps to, um, it, you set a lot of goals and, and that's helpful like when you're in school to be able to set goals and to look back at what you've been doing and, and recognize your achievements. But also, um, on the Brigham Young University application, it actually asks if you have your personal progress, um, Award and so I was able to mark that yes I've completed my personal progress and so I mean hopefully that I think that was a helpful factor in my application process because I've heard that your personal progress is equivalent to the boys um, duty to God and Eagle Scout award. Hmm. I would agree with that statement. So you just recently returned from a six-month internship program at. Disney World, which is located in Orlando, Florida. Do tell. Is there... So, what I'm trying to say is, in Brigham Young and here, you have these support systems that are so vast. Everyone around you is LDS and is encouraging you along the way. But in Florida, that may not be as prominent of a support system, LDS support system around you. And it was there that you actually decided to go on your mission. Do tell, what was it that, uh, is there anything that kind of, uh, made you prepared for situations like that where you wouldn't be around, maybe, the greatest support system? Um, I think it helps to, um, like, uh, establishing habits of going to church and going to seminary so you kind of get into a routine. Um, when I was living in Florida, um, I I lived with all LDS girls and a couple of us went to church really consistently when we had work off or tried to get work off and then there were a couple in our apartment that um, they didn't go to church every week and they would sleep in because they were tired and it definitely helped that um, the one roommate and I that we had 
we, we made a commitment at the beginning, if we can make it to church on Sunday, we're going to go. And so it's cool um, when you do move out of the house or you are in situations where you don't have your family around or you're in a, you know, with your friends in peer pressure situations, if you um, commit beforehand and you have been reading your scriptures and saying your prayers, and then you'll have the Holy Spirit with you and you're able to make righteous decisions um, on a whim. Oh, excellent. So... There are girls out there, I know, that may say, Oh, well, I'm so busy with this and that. And I know you were busy at the time. They say, Oh, I have, I'm busy with one thing, two thing, red thing, blue thing, you know. And I, I just can't, uh, I can't handle something to the uh, magnitude. And it takes the sort of commitment that a personal progress award does. And what say you to them? Um, well, the good news is you do have, from... The time you're 12 till the time you're 18 to finish the personal progress. So, so, so start early. Yeah. Is what so you're saying. for all you beehives, start your personal progress now. Work on it every week when you have the chance. But for those of you that are laurels by now, don't worry. It's not too late. You can get it done. Um, like I promise, if you just sit down and and you complete it, you will recognize blessings in your life. It'll be the the more you work on it, the easier it'll be to pick it up. Um, it's just like you know when you get into Reading your scriptures again, it might be hard at first, but then the more you get into them, the more you read them, the more you um, kind of get into the habit of reading them, the easier it becomes. And um, I definitely recommend doing a personal progress. I don't regret doing my personal progress, and you won't either. So hop, don't stop. Well, I'd like to thank you for your time here. I think that I have been better educated on um, what has made you uh, so successful at such a young age and what has motivated you and what has helped you along the way and I I feel that uh, our viewers here are also on the same boat and have been enlightened so to speak um, from such a fine young woman as yourself thank you for your time thank you, thank thank you. you so much thank you. good luck guys you can do it and that's it for today. Next week, we will explore crap. <laughs> we'll cut that out. <laughs> One thing, two.